a little bit. When I'm having, I'm calling a meeting with you, and I see a behavior that needs to be changed. A lot of people, you see five behaviors that need change, but you need to pick one, maximum two. And you focus on that one behavior that needs to be changed in this meeting. So this is a coaching meeting where I want to change something. You'll see it starts a little differently than the other one. Then I call this not beating around the bush. I want them to be uncomfortable in this meeting. I want them to know this has to be changed. Okay? So we state the confrontation up front. Limit the topic to one, maybe two. Get ready for resistance. People will give you excuses. That's next, right? When you say, this is what needs to be fixed, boom. You don't have to sit down and talk a lot. You want this to be, this is a meeting about this that needs to be changed. So right off the bat, it's almost like you write this out. It should be written out. This is what I'm going to study. I'm confronting this behavior. And you talk about it as though it is this, I'm confronting this, this has to be changed. That's the first thing. The second thing is, I know you're going to resist. So I know the person, so I figure out how will they resist. And I'm going to be ready for how they will resist. I'm prepared. You either get angry, or you give me excuses, or whatever. I'm ready for that, and I'm going to try to defuse that. So that's the second step. I want to diffuse that resistance and then also do what she did. I'm going to find out, well, what is the actual problem here? Let's examine that. Let me ask you some questions. See if we can get to the bottom of it. And then, like the last one, we have to resolve it. And the most important thing is what next steps are you going to do by when? We never let them leave the meeting without saying, like, what did this guy, what's his next step? Have a meeting with the workers and their workers, right? To figure out what the problem is. And after the meeting, he's supposed to get back to her. Now, I would have, I would have said, when will you have the meeting? Exactly. Well, as soon as they'll allow me, and so that'll be when? Tomorrow afternoon? Good. So after the meeting, please come find my office. She did. When will you contact? And that was probably fair because, um, you know, she doesn't know and he doesn't know when they can have the meeting. But I want to see you immediately following the meeting, whatever that is. That's what I would have tied it down a little bit more to make sure he's coming back and make sure that, that the solution has been found or it's on its way to be found because this isn't something wrong here. So the resolution is the same. What are the next steps to solve this problem? These are common sense, but sometimes we forget. And if you notice down at the bottom, the same skills will be used, whatever is necessary. Let's see an example of this at work. The supervisor is going to now confront a behavior. So first is responding to needs, and the second process, confronting the behavior same skills are going to be used. 